Hello everybody and thanks for joining me today. So today I'm going to take you into 3D Motion Studio and I'll just quickly go through uh, what everything is. So uh, let's launch 3D. So when you launch it, uh, you'll get greeted by the Corel panel and uh, you can do a couple of things here. You can check for updates. I, I periodically do this, but for now you don't need to because it's so new. But go to do more. And when you go to do more, you'll see there's lots of packages already available that you can install. Um, and let's uh, install this one. And you'll see it's done really quick. It'll probably take you about 30 seconds to install this. And uh, we're done. And it'll tell you that after the, you have to close it and after your next launch, it will add to your library. And you go, that's cool. No, never done. So that's how quick that is done. And when you close this, you'll get greeted by another panel, which you have the option of turning off as well. And this panel just tells you what these uh, icons mean. So have a read through them, but it, uh, uh, I'll show you how to use these anyway. So let's just click that off at the moment. All right, so what do we got here? It looks uh, quite daunting at first, but trust me, uh, you'll get around this really, really quickly, and you'll find just how easy it is to use it is. So what do we got here? Well, this first panel here is your preview window. So whatever you are doing, you're going to create. It ends up in this window here. This is your attribute panel. Uh, whatever effects you apply into your project, all the attributes are in here, and then you can change that accordingly. This is your easy palette, and this is where all your effects and filters and whatnot are stored. Uh, these, like, I'm now in Objects 3D Models. And you'll see all the 3D models that are available. And you know what? There's, you can probably add your own, obviously. Uh, <clears throat> you most likely be just working with these two panels the most. And then the last one is your object manager. And object manager basically is grouping what you are doing in your preview window. So it just puts it all into this uh, panel here. So if you're working with, say, four or five different layers, you can just click through it rather than go, oh, how do I get to this one? So that's your object manager. And then underneath here, this is your timeline. So by default, it'll go to 75 frames and about 25 frames per second. And obviously, you have the choice of changing that. So now that means that I have three seconds here. So if I need a, a title that is five seconds long, I would then increase uh, my frames. It's... Uh, you know, it's just simple logic there, I guess. Uh, yeah. And then here, these three icons, uh, you're going to be using these quite a lot as well. Uh, let's just put uh, something up so I can show you how to use these here. So I'm going to go into my text tool, and I'm just going to uh, create a word. And you have the option, obviously, in here to change the font. And I'll, I'll, I'll explain that in the next tutorial. So... Um, this is your move tool. This allows you to move where, wherever you want your text to be. This is your rotate tool. This will allow you to position or rotate whatever desired angle you want. And then this is your resize tool. So if you want it smaller or bigger, then you can do it with this tool here. Now, because you are working with 3D, uh, you're going to be working with the X, Y, Z axis. And you can then use, if you want to do very precise uh, movements, you can do that with uh, these controls here. So instead of uh, using your hand tool, you can then also do the same thing here. And this is your reset button. So this brings it back right back to the start. Uh, this panel here, this is your, all your text um, attributes. So this is your paragraphs, your spacings, and so forth. And then if you're working with 3D objects, this is your view from top, bottom, left, right, you know, and so forth. And again, I'll show you at a much later date of how to use these. And then obviously you have your file edit view and object projects. And realistically, you're most likely just be working with the file and exporting it to, uh, to Video Studio. But now that's probably all you're going to do anyway. Up here, you've got your different light ambience. Uh, if I want more light on my text, I can increase it. If I want less light on my text, I can decrease that. And then these ones, these are kind of cool. These are your panel uh, toggle panels, your panel toggles, or whatever you want to call it. So what that basically means is if I just want to work with this window, 
uh, I can turn off uh, everything so I can just view that window itself and then I can increase it so if I'm working with something that's a little bit more detailed and I can't see it because in the preview window where it was it was too small I can then do it this way and then I can just click them all back on and it brings back all those panels now you have the option of moving the panels around let's say I want this panel here for some strange reason or this one here for some strange reason and then I go, oh no, I don't like that. Just double click and it pops it all back in. And it's that easy to do. And then with your timeline here, uh, you have more tabs. So, and I'll, I'll show you what these do in my next tutorial. I'm just introducing you to the uh, interface for now. And then this is your timeline, obviously. And this is where you're going to be inserting your, your keyframes. And that's it, my friends. And uh, one more thing, I'll show you what this one here does. This is my edit text object. So I can then, whatever I have created here, I don't like it, I can then edit by using my edit uh, icon here. Alright, my friends. Uh, like I said, I will go through more in my next tutorial on how to use everything. And as always, thanks for watching.